ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, the system messing with my system. You know how before at the end of the video there was no sound? Well, at the beginning of the video there is no sound. So what we're going to do is we're going to test out the theory as to there being no sound, and I haven't touched none of these. So let's see if I really don't have no sound. Now, see, as I'm talking, you see that moving right there? That means that there ain't nothing wrong with my sound. So why at the beginning of this video, let's play it, you have no sound? None. Just clickety-clack, diggity-yack. No sound. All of that talking, but you get over here at the... To approve and provide And there is sound. They Whoa, the Federal Reserve. Hold on now. We're going to play the last part of this video. We're going to blend it in with this, okay? We're going to let Maxine get on up and get her little talking on, and we're going to let the end of that video take care of the end of that video. Let's see. She's talking now. For the government. Yep, that's me talking. So we're going to do the beginning of the video so y'all can see what we were talking about. Okay, let's, no, let's just do the beginning of the video so y'all can see. We're talking about this Bankman Freed and FTX because they said – Stop right there. They said that they had lost $2.2 billion and they recovered it. It was lost and they just found it under the rug or something. He like, he, he like put it in a suitcase or something. Ladies and gentlemen, they speak about right here, I pointed out in the video, liquidity, liquid assets. And then I go in the video and explain to you exactly what liquid assets is. See, liquid assets, liquid assets, they found $2.2 billion of liquid assets. So that means he didn't steal it. Liquidity means cash. They didn't find it in his home. They didn't find it in no offshore account. They found it in the company's account. Hold on now. That's just one thing. Then later in the video, I show you that they're missing $9 billion. So they only found two. So two minus nine is seven, right? So let's find out where the other seven billion, oh, seven billion. The FTX debtors recover $7 billion. So that adds up to, pay attention, $9 billion that vanished. They found the $9 billion. Wait a minute. Well, if the whole reason why FTX collapsed was because it didn't have liquidity, it didn't have any money, where did the money go? Oh, they found it. $9 billion. Where was the $9 billion? Where's the $9 billion? Ladies and gentlemen, this is all government. This is what the government does. They claimed it was missing. Vanished. Funds vanished. So he's panicking, trying to figure out where the money is trying to borrow money until they can locate where the money is. And then all of a sudden, a couple of months after they do this, and then a month after they arrest him, they find the money. So what are they charging them with? They were charging them with embezzlement, stealing, commingling of funds. Excuse me. You found the funds. How is he commingling it? Pay attention. He did not take the funds and use them for personal gain. It was in the company. Ladies and gentlemen, what you guys don't understand is FTX is one of the largest blockchains trading of cryptocurrency on the market. One of the largest blockchain traders of cryptocurrency in existence at the time. The government was getting ready to come out with its own cryptocurrencies, one for each state. Because the states have a right. Just remember the times in the past when they used to have their own script? It was called script. They used to have their own script. Now they're going to have their own script in the form of cryptocurrency. Hold on. They said $9 billion was missing. In that video, I was talking about how Mr. Bankman Freed and his attorneys need to be paying attention. Somebody manipulated their files, made it appear that that money wasn't there. Then all of a sudden, the money reappears. Remember, this money is held digitally. Digitally. And they made it appear that it was vanished. That money was insured. He needs to file an insurance claim on it. 
$9 billion insurance claim, man, all your money problems go away. The, if these funds were in a bank, people, these funds weren't in a company account, as in, in the company, these funds were in a bank, a company bank account. And this caused all of the problems, even though I believe it was intentional, and he needs to file a claim on those funds because they were insured. $9 billion in a bank is going to be insured, ladies and gentlemen. There's going to be some bonding or something insuring those funds. Go get your money, Mr. Freed. Use that money to pay off the attorney, file your claim, and document the fact that this was a setup. Because there is no evidence of no fraud because they found the money. The money was not missing. That means he did not mismanage it. By the way, he was trying to borrow $9.4 billion. You cannot have a couple of hundred million to borrow $9.4 billion. You need to have at least $9 billion to borrow $9 billion. So he was borrowing, see, he was borrowing from the funds he already had. He was using that as collateral. That is 100% legal. 100% legal. Because he was not operating as a broker. See, he looked for $9.4 billion. The only way he could get $9.4 billion was to have at least $9 billion in liquidity, in assets that could be collateralized. Ladies and gentlemen, no bank would loan him the money. Everywhere he went, everybody turned him down because they were told to do so. He had the liquidity. One of the largest crypto trading platforms on the planet, you would be out of your mind not to lend him the money. He had the liquidity, but they chose not to. Why? Because the government is getting ready to release 58 different stable coins, and Maxine Waters will tell you that it's for every state in the nation and territory. Don't take my word for it. I didn't say it. She's going to say it. Hold on now. This is at a congressional hearing, and nobody corrected her. Nobody said, hey, she said the Republicans introduced the bill. Hey, isn't it interesting that the Republicans were the ones who were invested in FTX? Democrats do, but the Republicans, the very same one who pushed the bill, because this was a hostile government takeover of a company. Why? Because if the American government is going to get involved in cryptocurrency, they're going to need a blockchain platform to exchange their coin, to trade their coin. They're going to need a blockchain. Why? Because you're going to need proof of work. Go look up the definition for it. Proof of work. You're going to need your smart contracts. The blockchain already has it. The United States doesn't have to create it because they got FTX. Who took over FTX? It's in receivership. The United States government controls FTX now. They're going to change the name of FTX. Don't take my word for it. Take their word for it. And they're going to control the company. Bankman Freed should be getting his company back because this was all obvious. Just that simple. It was obvious. My grandmama could have seen this. Your grandmama can't see. She did. She, she could have seen it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to play the Maxine Waters part so that y'all can hear. Oh, no, that ain't it. That, that's the one I had that one wrong. Hold on now. Crypto. A comprehensive crypto regulation bill. We're going to make this bigger. And I'm going to turn off my mic, y'all. I'm going to turn off my mic, y'all, so y'all can hear. Oh, no, no. Y'all can't hear me. See, the microphone is on. Look at that right there. That's the mic. Microphone is on. So, how come we had no sound? We got sound now. So, hold on, y'all. All right, so we're going to break down some hearings today for you guys. This will be a good show because it is going to compile three different hearings into one jam-packed 
knowledge and alpha dump for you guys. You guys are going to love it. My name is Paul Barron. Welcome back into TechPath. Before we get started, and I'll break down all these hearings for you, uh, good stuff too with both Jerome Powell, we've got uh, Maxine Water. I mean, it's, it's a good hit parade. Uh, but I do want to thank our sponsor, and that is iTrust Capital. If you're looking at long-term holding of your Bitcoin assets, your Ethereum, you can put it into an IRA, or you can actually start your IRA right there within iTrust Capital. And if you say, okay, well, I don't know if I want to go crypto, I can go with gold and even silver. So there's a lot of options for you, both getting into your 401k. You can also roll this over, as well as your TSP or even your 403B. There's a variety of different assets out there in the IRA sector that, of course, you can use within iTrust Capital. All you have to do is click our link down below, and you get a $100 funding reward. It's very simple if you decide to fund your account and get started with your own deals. So just click that link. It does help the channel out. All right, so we're going to get started here on uh, essentially the hearing where the SEC is getting grilled by Congress. But additionally, this also will uh, have the hearing where right. we've got Jerome Powell addressing Congress, both on a, a variety of issues around the, uh, the Fed, but also into crypto itself. And then we'll wrap That's it up with an additional water. hearing for you guys. All of this over only two of the licenses. The remaining 56 licenses can be issued. Hold on, let, wait, wait, hold on, how many week. licenses? And I think it's wait, a good wait. place to start. Hold Let's on, get young into man, clip let my scene talk. Because this is about stable how coins many, from Jerome How Powell. many stable coins? How many? My Republican colleagues propose a stable coin bill that would create 58 different licenses. Whoa, 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 58? 58 different coins. Every state. Every territory having their own coin. They're going to need a platform. They're not going to create their own platform or blockchain. They're going to need a platform. So what platform is available for the government to use that's not privately owned? Hello? FTX, anybody? FTX? FT, FT, FTX? Anybody say FTX? FTX? FT, FTX? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Maxine, tell them how many coins y'all need to be stabilized. Hold on, let, let Maxine My talk. Republican colleagues propose a stable coin bill that would create 58 different licenses with federal regulatory... Pay attention. Maxine Waters is a very astute, pay attention speaker. She doesn't have to read from no stupid scripts. Maxine Waters is reading from a script all the way up until after she finishes talking again. She even compliments him and tells him how great of a job he's Max, that ain't Maxine. I told you I know this woman. Well, I knew this woman, um, and that ain't her. I know she knows how to speak because she's the one who also taught us, along with Mike Kingdom Hall, taught us how to deliver speeches. She's reading from a script. Look, she doesn't even look up. Wait, hold on. Let me prove it to you. To her approval over only two of the licenses. The remaining 56 licenses can be issued by each state, territory, and D.C. Wait, 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 wait. The, the remaining 56 licenses can be issued at each state, each territory? Isn't that interesting? Well, where are they going to get the blockchain? Oh, FTX, 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 FTX. Any, can anybody say FTX? Sorry, I apologize. See, with little or no federal oversight, regulation, and enforcement, DC-based coin. No oversight? Look, she's reading from a script. Pay attention. This was a month ago. This was June that this hearing was had. It's a good thing that they took over FTX. Whew, just in the nick of time, now they got a place to put those stable coins. Woo-wee, ain't that something, huh? They can park their coins someplace. Hold on, one more thing. Max, can you for example, keep reading from your script? Would be sold to individuals nationwide, and New Look, York or North Carolina regulators could do nothing to protect their own residents, while even the Fed would be severely hamstrung in providing any oversight. I've argued that we should allow states to be part of... Wait, wait, wait. Notice what she said. She's argued. Ladies and gentlemen, if she's speaking... 
she's argued. She's, it's a prepared speech, so why is she looking down? If she's argued, then bring the point. I've argued. Bring the point out. Everybody knows when you give a speech, when it's a point you're trying to deliver, then you look up. Deliver your point, but she's not doing that. Now watch her. And regulators could do nothing to protect their own residents, while even the Fed would be severely hamstrung in providing any oversight. I've argued that we should allow states to be part of this process, but we must have a strong, enforceable federal floor with a role for the Federal Reserve to approve and provide oversight of payment. Whoa, the Federal Reserve is going to approve and provide oversight of cryptocurrency? Now that is something else, huh? The states are going to have some approval and oversight, and the Federal Reserve is going to have approval and oversight. That's called a hostile takeover, y'all. Hostile. Why? Because they're doing it out in the open and public, and they're making sure y'all are aware of what they're doing. And they're doing it under the auspices that they're trying to protect you. So... Let's go back to explain to you why this is happening. The United States is needing to introduce their own stable coin. In order for the United States to deliver their own stable coin, we're going to go back one. That's the hearing that we just read. So we're going to go back one. I said we're going to go back one. They don't want me to go back, y'all. Let's try it again. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why they took over FSX, FTX, the reason why they took over FTX, first, Franklin Freed, he is 30 years old. He knows nothing. He got his money. They're going to let him remain a billionaire. He's, he's still a billionaire. Remember, they just seized his funds. He's going to cooperate, and they're going to give him back what's his. They'll probably take a little bit, but he's going to get back what's his because he knows too much. He's like that William Epstein person, knows too much, okay? His bail, go back and look at how much his bail was, ladies and gentlemen. He posted that bail so he can afford it. That's the first thing. Second, if he or his attorney is watching this, then they can pull up the fact they've already gotten all the money, so there's no embezzlement. They found the money, so there is no embezzlement. If he took the money, then they would have had to recover the money from his assets. They didn't do that, ladies and gentlemen. They found the money. Pay attention. Investigations have been blah, blah, blah. They found the money. Seven billion in liquid assets from FTX. They found it. They didn't get it from him. They said liquid assets. Liquidity, ladies and gentlemen. Liquidity. Look up the phrase liquidity. That's what they found. Nine billion from customers' accounts. Well, if he took nine billion from customers' accounts, how are you able to recover seven billion? Ladies and gentlemen, a billionaire ain't gonna go buy a billion dollars worth of property so that they can come and take it. That ain't how you that ain't how you take money. Okay? Now, look, allegedly due to Alameda borrowing from FTX.com wallets and accounts. Really? Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. If it was really doing that, if they were losing the money, then why did they still have $9 billion? They still recovered the $9 billion. $7 billion here. Let's do it again. And remember, under receivership, they've appointed... Some idiot, oh, the, the guy who ran Disney, some idiot to run the company. Two billion plus nine billion, and they're saying the company collapsed. Ladies and gentlemen, the company had the assets. But the problem is he was trying to borrow money because if everybody took all of their money out, he would not have had what's known as working capital. Aw, look, his ex-lover and co-executive got $6 million. It's a billion-dollar company. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. It's a billion-dollar company. $6 million is like giving someone $600 when you're dealing with billions. 
but they want to make it look to the poor people that $6 million is a lot. $6 million is nothing. You go through that overnight. Okay? But they are claiming, remember, he transferred $2.2 billion into one of his other entities. Companies do that all the time. That's how you shore up the other entities. You can borrow money from one company to the next. That is legal. But FTX debtors recover $7 billion. Investigations have been extraordinarily challenging. No, it hasn't. You were able to find all $9 billion. How can that be challenging? Okay, do not fall for the okie doke. So because they found all $9 billion, there is no embezzlement scheme they can get him for. All $9 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, let me explain to you so that you get it. If I take $100 million from a company, I'm going to spend it on something. They found all $9 billion. Was it on a luxury cruise ship that he purchased? It was all liquid assets. That means tangible money, liquid assets. It was liquidity. It wasn't in just simple assets such as, see, $7 billion in liquid assets, according to new court documents. Liquid assets. Let's give you guys an understanding of what liquid assets are. Come on. And we're going to do a Google search. Google, tell us what liquid assets mean. Oh, sure, certainly. <laughs> One second, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Mo. Hey, Larry. Liquid assets refers to cash on hand, cash on a bank deposit, assets that can be quickly and easily converted to cash. The common liquid assets are stocks, bonds, certificates deposited, and shares. In other words, there is no embezzlement, people. Yeah, yeah, they use words like liquid assets so you guys can't figure out what they're talking about. They found the money, so there is no embezzlement. Embezzlement is when the individual used the money for personal gain. Personal gain. If he's storing it in a bank account, that's not personal gain. If he's storing it in a bank account and using it to acquire interest, that's not personal gain. Ladies and gentlemen, he did not take the money and go and buy something else. Like most people who are embezzling would do. They will use it for personal gain. So they are charging him for a non-crime. And because you all are paying attention to the news, you're thinking Mr. Bankman Freed did something wrong. No, what Mr. Bankman Freed did was he allowed the congressmen and the congresswomen and those politicians to get close to him. That's why many of them were invested in his company. This is known as a hostile takeover. It is a takeover from within. And they used the system to do so. And they found all $9 billion, which they claim was lost. And then the executive for Disney said he was writing it off as a loss. He's not writing nothing. Well, he's going to write it off as a loss, but he's going to get his money back at the same time. So he's going to get doubly paid. Go ahead and watch and see. And then he's going to get paid for the work he's doing and bringing back FTX. But it's not going to be FTX anymore. They're getting ready to change the name. And then that's going to be the company all those stable coins are going to be in. Go ahead and tell me if I'm right five months from now. I promise you this stuff is so easy. Now, I shared it with my group earlier today. This is going to piss some people off because I ain't supposed to be revealing what they're doing in the background. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a revealer of secrets. These are their secrets. This is what the crackheads are doing. Now, look, I got to go. I have a meeting in a couple hours, and I got to get some rest. I've been up for a long time. So I just wanted to share this about uh, Bankman Freed and FTX. There was no collapse. You really ought to pay attention. Got to go, got to go, got to go. Oh, look at that. He says Bankman Freed and other top executives paid more than $3 billion before the collapse. Impossible. See, that's a lie. They want you to see 
$2.3 billion. He gave himself $2.2 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, no, he didn't. That's called a loan, and you can give a corporate loan, and he did it from one company to the next. You can do that. That's legal. That's not illegal, especially if the two companies are working in conjunction. That is 100% legal, especially if he's documenting it. That means there's no commingling. That's how they know that it was $2.2 billion. There is no commingling because it's documented. He ain't gave nothing. There's a lot of paperwork that goes with transferring $2 billion to another company. Shh, don't tell nobody. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, thank you for your time. Goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, they don't get to get one over on me. I will get this information out to you guys one way or the other. All of the information about Mr. Bankman Free, look, sixteen billion overnight. He lost sixteen billion overnight, ladies and gentlemen. He didn't lose anything. And all he needs to do is file a claim. There's an insurance claim. His money was in the bank the whole time. And it's because of that error that he ended up losing the money. His money was insured. If he or his people are watching, they need to pay attention. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I want to thank y'all for letting me do this video a second time to make sure this information gets out there because, hey, as I told y'all, y'all can see. Now watch this. Let's make sure we got audio because this ain't happened in a while, y'all. This ain't happened in a while. So let's see if they still playing with me. They have an AI system and a bot that goes around and messes with people's system, and I believe that's what's happening here. But either way, y'all got the information, okay? All of the information on Mr. Bankman Free, negative, negative, negative. You know, as a matter of fact, eventually somebody like him I would work with. Somebody like this man I would work with. Why? Because if you think I've accomplished things now, I guarantee you I could give this man some ideas to take care of some things. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gents, got to go, got to go, got to go. Got to keep myself going. Y'all get going. See y'all later. Arriva Dirty.